Hello, and welcome to our Dog Biz Pro help video series. In this video, we will be explaining how to create new classes. To start, you would want to navigate to your admin module, and once inside your admin module, you would want to click on the Setup tab, Products and Services, and Classes in order to be brought to your Classes page. Once you're inside of this page, you should be able to see all your currently created classes. If you ever wanted to edit a class, you would just want to click on the class in question, and that will open up your editing window. So if I wanted to make a change to this class title, I'd be able to do that, save my changes, and if you notice it updated that class for me. If you ever wanted to create a new class, you would just want to click on the new class button, and that will open up your new class window. And from inside of this window, you'll be able to set up and create that new class. The first text box showing is the title text box. This title text box will determine the actual name of your class. So if you wanted your class to be called Class A, you'd want to put that as your title. The next area is the link text box, and this link text box will actually stay blank until the class is created. Once the class is created, you could edit this class in order to view that populated link. This link would allow you to link clients directly to the specific class on the client registration portal. The next section is the description section. Inside the description section, you'd be able to attach additional information about this class and it would appear on the client registration portal. So if I wanted additional information to show, I could type that information in here. And again, that would show on the client registration portal when a client clicked on that class. Next area is the sessions text box. This text box will determine how many sessions are required to complete this class. For example, if you wanted clients to attend four total classes after they registered for this class, then you'd want to put four as your total session count. If you had scheduled the modularized class, this session number would also determine when that client was set up to graduate. The next text box is the Max Dogs text box. This will determine the maximum number of dogs that can be registered for that class. For example, if I set this to four, then only four dogs could attend that class at any one time. For mod classes, this means that only four clients could be registered for one particular occurrence at one time. The next text box is the cost text box. This will allow you to actually set the default cost of the class. When you actually go to schedule the class, you are able to change the price there, so this price is not set in stone, but again, it is the amount that will populate over when you first attempt to schedule an instance of this class. So if you wanted this class to cost $10, you could put $10 for that amount. The next area is the length drop-down box. This drop-down box will determine the actual duration of the class. Much like cost, this value is not set in stone, and you are able to change it once you schedule an instance of that class. So again, this is just the duration that will populate over when you attempt to schedule this class. So if I just want to set that default duration to an hour, I can do that here. Lastly, there is the deposit text box. This text box will allow you to set a deposit amount for this specific class. So if you wanted to require a deposit amount for your class, you could do that right from this location. So if you wanted to do a $5 deposit, you could do that here. Once the client actually registers for this class on the client registration portal, they'd be able to pay just the deposit amount or they could pay the full cost of the class. Below those text boxes, you should be able to see a series of drop-down boxes, including registration forms, waivers, and autoresponders. Here is where you would be able to attach a custom registration form, a waiver, or an autoresponder for just this specific class. If a client had registered for this class, they would have to fill out the additional form, agree to the additional waiver, and then they would receive whatever autoresponders you had assigned. So if I wanted to assign a, a custom form to this class, I could click on the drop-down, assign the form in question, I could do the same for the waiver, and again the same for the autoresponders as well. The last section of this window is the Categories section. This section will determine what category this class belongs to. For example, if I wanted this to be an Agility class, I could select the Agility category, click Save, and it would actually create my class. If you notice, inside the Agility category, I now have a Class A showing. Hopefully that helps and explains how to create a new class.